All right, guys, a couple of things. Um, thanks for stopping by the page. I'm gonna show you how to build the cedar raised beds. They're pretty deep. They're about 16 and a half inches deep for $37. I'm gonna show you that in just a second. But before I show you that, I have to show you out here by the garden. It is uh, 8.32 p.m. and it's June, I don't know what it's today, 12th, I think. Yeah, June 12th, 8.31 p.m. And you can see sun is still in the sky. It's, it's setting, it's getting close. Uh, but I think we still got an hour of sunlight left. So uh, if you're if you're here to check out the uh, raised beds, I'm gonna show you in our garden how these things work, and uh, I'll just you know take you back here a little bit and and show you sort of the garden. And basically, what uh, we started is we we built these uh, these four over here first. Um, two years ago and we've been using those uh, and then we built these other ones uh, back here across the back those were built um, last year and then this year we've added uh, these other six beds so I am going to uh, uh, show you uh, a little bit uh, about uh, what we're doing how we how we did it uh, and that sort of thing and I'm gonna sort of self-direct uh, as we go so this is this is going to be really about the $37 cedar raised beds. And uh, thanks for coming by the, the modern homestead. Uh, my name's Bob. I'm known as Seed Spreader Online, uh, but I want to show you how to build these. So uh, the first thing that I want you to see is that uh, what we're using here are one by six uh, cedar picket. So, uh, these one by six, let me just uh, switch here for a second, we'll go solo. Uh, these one by six <clears throat> uh, pickets uh, are relatively inexpensive and uh, they are cedar. Um, they're not truly an inch thick, they're about uh, three quarters of an inch thick. Uh, and they're about one and a little bit over, or uh, not one, but uh, five and a half inches, a little bit over five and a half inches. Uh, wide and they vary just a little bit you know they're they're, they're pickets they're only two dollars and sixty five cents um, at, at the uh, at the uh, Home Depot which is uh, where we bought them so I'm going to switch this around so you can sort of see uh, what's going on here with the camera and that sort of thing and I, I do want to remind you uh, to make sure that you um, visit us on Facebook at the modern homestead uh, and if you're checking this out on Facebook, go check us out on YouTube on the Mo Modern Homestead also. So uh, if you do that, that would be great. Um, uh, part of the deal with putting these together has really been um, taking the uh, taking advantage of that, that cheaper price on those. But when I first started building them, uh, I was using just only two by fours. So uh, you'll notice that as we uh, look at the live screen here um, You'll see we've got four by fours on the corner now. There's something I need to let you know and understand um, uh, and, and that's this uh, this is uh, Cedar, uh, but these corners they are treated and uh, so is the uh, two by four in the middle now these I put these braces across the center because uh, they hold up these uh, fences um, and these are cattle panels, so you can sort of see those. Um, and we've attached those. And what'll happen is we'll we'll grow uh, vining uh, plants uh, up each side. In fact, you can see this this cucumber here is starting to grow up. And uh, look, it, it grabbed on uh, right there. So that's going to sort of grow up that way. And uh, uh, um, so we were talking a little bit about just about the lumber that we used and. Uh, I'll show you sort of what that looks like. Um, before I do, I wanna show you a couple measurements. So if you look at that picture, I wrote it down, 16 and a half, 33 and a half, 49 and a half, 66, and it wasn't 33 and a half, 16 and a half, 33, 49 and a half, 66, and then uh, I think it's like 82 and a half. So um, that's if you're marking all these boards out in one shot. And basically, what I did is, as I showed you here, uh, with a little bit of detail, we used nine total of the one by six, six foot tall cedar pickets. 
And so the box that we're building here, these boxes, they are three foot uh, across here, uh, three foot by six foot. So uh, that gives us 18 square uh, feet uh, of planning space. And each box, if you do the math, you know that there's 27 cubic feet uh, in a cubic yard. And so each box, if it's filled to the very brim, if it's filled to the very brim, will hold about 25 cubic feet. So right around uh, one cubic yard. So going back to this uh, picture here, there's nine total of those uh, cedar pickets. And uh, we've, we cut three of them uh, in half. So basically 36 inches, which creates those six uh, that you see at, at top center of the picture here, uh, those six. Now those are gonna be uh, our side. And I'll show you a little bit of a, a picture uh, on the, uh, on, online here when I'm doing this. I'll show you this little picture. I'm doing this all live. So uh, it's almost like you're watching it live because I'm recording it live. Uh, but basically you get three uh, of these on the end and it's three tall. And, and so when we're looking at that, that's sort of what you see. This is the build one box. Now, when I costed these out, so you're going to see these prices here. When I cost these out, I did the, the cost as if I built two boxes and that's where I came up with the 3663. And, and I did that because I used a 12 foot long four by four to uh, cut. You'll notice that there's four pieces of four by four. Those are 16 and a half inches, uh, each uh, and uh, along with two two by fours that are cut at 16 and a half inches. And I only had to buy one two by four to make the two boxes. So the costs here uh, reflect that. So I basically took all those costs and cut it in two. And that's where I came up with 36.63, basically $37 to, to buy these or to build these things. And then uh, we leave six of the one by sixes at six foot. And uh, as we do that, we make sure to use our square. And you'll notice in this picture that I line up that board on the bottom. Now that's going to become important here in just a moment, and, and I'll show you why. But use that square, get a nice square start, line up on the bottom, uh, and then alternate. You notice what I do here: flat, dog ear, flat. Do that wherever you can, um, and that's just because you're going to uh, when, when you screw these together, um, it, it just gives you more surface area there. Uh, I was pre-drilling all these before I was screwing them. You can screw them without pre-drilling. Uh, cedar wood is fairly soft wood. You can do that, but you may split it. So just be aware of that. So uh, once I had the two ends, so basically, you know, you take those four four by fours and you make sure they're square. Now, if you look at that picture real cl close, you're gonna see at the top, there's a little bit of a, a uh, gap between the size of the four by four and the boards on the side. That's just because there's some variation in there. That's why it's important to line up on the bottom on one side. Now, it's also important to make sure that you, uh, that when you put these two pieces up and then you begin to uh, screw them together like this, uh, that you put those bottoms all on the same side. I didn't, and I had to take it apart and put it back together so it was done right. Uh, so uh, you're probably saying, well, what do we use those two two by fours? I see now that what we use the four four by fours, uh, four, four, four by fours for. Uh, I see what we use this for, but what do we use the two by fours for? Well, I'm glad that you're asking uh, because we basically put those in the middle and, and you can see in our live picture here, uh, that's this right here. Um, now, again, this, this is, if you're gonna put a support up and over and basically I'm creating this arch because there's gonna be green beans growing up these and uh, cucumbers and peas and all that sort of stuff. If you're doing that, I recommend putting this brace across the middle. And uh, what happened is uh, where I learned that was on the first one that I did first year. Um, this particular fence that I used, this fence panel was really bent on this side. You can see we didn't really have too much problem on this side, but you can see where, where that sort of leaned in. Now, we've made it better. We, we, we've learned from what we did wrong in the past. Uh, so you're going to screw uh, two screws uh, per two by four in the middle for support. And uh, like I said, that'll that's uh, these here. And uh, as you do that, you'll uh, strengthen up those sides and they'll stay together fine. So where there was no pressure on this side, you can see this side, they're fine. Um, now, if you wanted to, inside on the bottom, you could put, a, a strap across, you know, a, a board across the bottom. Now, 
some people will not, you know, they would never use uh, the treated 4x4 and 2x4 in their bed where they do food. Um, the old treated uh, lumber, I understand that totally. I, I probably wouldn't either. Uh, but a couple of things. I went to treat it on these. These are, so I, I've been, I, you know, I prototyped these years ago. And then these are the improved boxes. So the 4x4s, the treated 4x4s, make these boxes last a lot longer and give you a lot of beef on the end to really grab with these these uh, cedar sides. And almost, if you really look at the surface area, there is not much surface area that's really touching the uh, treated lumber. Now you can make the choice. If you wanna put cedar in there, you can. It's gonna be more expensive. Uh, but I think this is a great compromise. And if you go look up, there's no arsenic in, in this uh, treated lumber and things like that, and we've not had any issues with it. So I just wanted to bring that up because I know some people may uh, think about that. Here's the garden. Um, you know, and, and this was, we had just mulched everything and had it planted. Uh, this is a couple days ago. A lot of work went into it uh, to sort of get to that uh, stage. And basically here's what the, the boxes look like before uh, we installed them. So uh, with that said, um, I appreciate you joining me out in my garden tonight. Uh, let's see if we, yeah, look at the mountain in the background with the sun going down. Uh, that's a good thing. Um, I'm glad that you joined us. If you have any questions or any thoughts, uh, share it with us. So um, thanks for jumping on the page and watching the video and give us a thumbs up and also this thumbs up and subscribe also. Subscribe, comment, like. Man, I could use the, the help um, just trying to get the, uh, the word out there. So just share this for me. So uh, talk to you later, guys. Uh, hopefully this was helpful for you and I'll catch you later.